Hey gang, what's up and welcome to Film Director Reacts and today we are doing Kachi again. So I did Kachi's last video, I can't remember what it was called, and um, I, uh, I remember like making a lot of comments just about how their production design didn't really match their, um, their wardrobe, which didn't match their director, which that there was a lot of just kind of production design issues that whether or not you like the song, I felt like with the budget they had, it could have just been done a lot better, a lot better. So, um, the thing isn't just that you have a low budget because you know a lot of people do that it's what can you do with that low budget to make it look like it's not a low budget they had issues with just even like having really busy backgrounds and then having really busy outfits and then they were put close to the background so they blended in it was like busy on top of busy if you have a busy background and you have a busy outfit you have to be further away from the background and really shallow focus so you're in focus and the background is kind of blurred out to create a separation when you have a busy background and you're busy it just there's no separation what is better is to either have a busy background and uh, more of a plain outfit to stand out or actually better the opposite have a plain background you'd be more busy or even just have a high contrast little things like that which are just very poorly thought out i don't blame them i actually blame their production team so i'm assuming that this next video that i'm assuming that they watched all my comments and that they are changing it based on all that stuff um because i also talked a lot about the lighting and the lighting issues and how they could have done their lighting better so i'm just joking they probably didn't watch my video at all uh <laughs> We're going to check out their next video and see kind of the evolution of how they're doing. And again, like, um, please don't give them any hate. I did them before just because I was interested because I know that a lot of people made bad comments about them and I just want to give them a shot and just kind of see what's going on. I want to save my feelings till I actually watch it and uh, feel the same about this. I'm actually kind of excited to see what they do and how things change. So, for Kachi's Photo Magic, first, let's run the intro. My name's Paul Leach, and I'm a writer-director in Los Angeles. I've been interviewed by such publications as The Huffington Post and the New York Council on Cultural Affairs. I've worked with Emmy winners and Oscar winners, and the feature film that I directed went to Cannes. In this series, we break down footage from the point of view of a film director, and we will stop often to look at shots. If you have not seen this video or this footage before, please go watch the whole thing all the way through, because again, we stop all the time and then come back here and break down the footage together with us. Okay, gang, again, if you have not watched this video all the way through, go watch it all the way through first, then come back with us and we'll break it down shot by shot as a film director. So let's check out Kachi's Photo Magic official album, our official song and action. So one thing I did notice is like right here, so the other video they had all these kind of like, um, like cutesy kind of like emojis and things all over the place. And so I guess they're kind of keeping with this. This is kind of like an old school, like Mario Nintendo 64 font. So they're kind of, which, is a little weird because this looks sort of like more, you know, dark. Hmm. I guess we'll see. Okay. I'm feeling a little contrast. Okay. Okay. Same thing is what I said before. Look, you have a busy background here and all this stuff on the floor and then you have these busy outfits and they are way too close to this background because what happens is it all blends in. They need to be like five or 10 or 15 feet closer in very shallow focus so they're in focus and everything else is kind of blurred out behind them. What would have been better is that they had really cool outfits and in the background, just they would have had this white wall instead of all these drapes down here, if they actually did different colored lighting like dramatic lighting, maybe they shot like, the wire. so something contrast this, maybe like blue across this way, or down, or red to the side, that they actually changed the color of the lighting in the background with, um, they changed the background color of the wall with light rather than these drapes that are down here. See, th even this is better because again, like, you know, it's not so busy in the background, 
Um, this isn't... It really should be on all of them, though. I mean, I don't know why it's on this one girl. They should actually have another light here. Like, this would be kind of a good shot if there was actually the light had gone uh, cascaded over all of them. Um, and it's a little... Uh, they should have opened up the lens a little bit more. Okay. Not a bad shot. You know, shallow focus. And you see busy, whatever, and she's in great focus. Great. So what I'm looking at here, so again, like this light is only here, it really should cover a cascade over everything because what's happening is when you see the light coming through one side, it's really drawing your attention. So it's drawing my attention to one side, which creates sort of this imbalance. So it sort of like feels very asymmetrical, which is okay if you're going for that, but I don't think they're going for that. That was a good transition between those two shots. So far that these bar scenes are the uh, best shot, except this isn't. Like they, uh, they're still trying to use shallow focus, but that one isn't as good. Um, so far these bar scenes are the best shot and the best lit. I wonder if it's a different company that did those. Not bad. Good. Great. And the K-pop thing moving in and everything. I wish they would have, whoever edited it, I wish they would have started off with these bar scenes because, where are we at, 43 seconds? Because these look pretty good. Um, when you start off with this, it looks bad to begin with because of the way this production design is. And so if you could have started off with these shots, it would have, like, from the beginning made it look better from the start. But you starting off with that um, sort of bad background and poor shooting of that bad background, it kind of set the tone. Unfortunately, you could have set the tone differently by starting off with these better shots here. Now, this could have been, like, I like the idea of this a lot. Like, so she's singing and they change the color. This is like the color in the background is what I was talking about with the lights and everything. And there is high contrast here, which is good. Now, what they could have done, I think would have been better for her is start here. Yeah, so they're sort of an establishing. then I think they really should have done a really close up on her. So you established her, but then we really want to connect with her. I'd love to see just her face and her singing and her expression in her face for a second so we can really connect with her. They didn't do it. I don't know if they will. Because that's going back to, th these are all mid shots, mid and wide shots, but there's no close ups. Good editing, I like that. See, the best shot I've seen is on this girl. Like right there. This is, and that's the same, the same shot. So what they did is they just did every girl individually. They probably like took two or three minutes and they just like da 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 da. And then they just put that in their vault of files and they decide how to cut it together. So far, this is the best shot. I wish you would be a little bit more to the left because again, I don't love dead center stuff coming from film, but so far that's the best shot. So this is the same, oh, is this the same? Well, this is the same as the group thing before, but is that the same as the other girl in this shot? No, it's not, it's different. But it could be the same wall, but with different lighting on the background. Just no different, okay. I don't mind this just being her at all. I think that it's good if she has the, the charisma to carry it through. I feel like they could help her out a little bit. 
Again, there's no close-ups. They're all like mid shots and kind of pushing back and forth of that. I would have loved to have seen if they're rapping just a close-up on her face, like her spitting those words and stuff so we can really connect to her. Because again, what happens, you need a variety of shots. They're trying to create variety in the movement, which is great, but they also need to create a variety in the shots themselves. So like, you know, I need to, give me, give me a close-up of her. All mids. And then we push in and then that's it. Follow shot up. Why did wonder why they have what they're saying there? Huh. Here, let me have a look. Oh. I wonder why that's important. See, what they could have done though is they should have told the story better because it's a little awkward that they threw in these subtitles here. I've actually never seen that before where they have, they're talking to each other. I feel like with as a director that you should be able to tell that story without having to throw those awkward subtitles in there that there should be a way that you can do that. Like maybe like the girl is like, like asking somebody, like her friend, like, how do I look? And she's like, oh, you look good. And she, maybe she's looking around, it's like in her purse, or maybe then she's like taking the back of something and trying to like her phone and kind of like, like taking her phone and trying to look at herself on the phone. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a better way you could visually story tell this than what was done. It feels lazy. I like what they're doing here. Like this is what they do in K-pop. They switch back from this one to this one. It doesn't fit exactly, um, but I think that just takes years and years of training. So everything is exactly precise, but the idea is good. I hate that set so much. <laughs> it's not the Kachi girl's fault. It's whoever it's production designer it looks terrible. Now, when you're a director, you're always asking yourself, or you should be asking yourself, what is the story I'm trying to tell? What am I trying to say? What is the, what am I trying to convey? What is the narrative here? I'm not really sure what the narrative is here. Whoever directed this, I wish they had actually told the story better. Is she different now with the hair? Is that what happened? They go behind the mirror and they're different? So are they different now after they went behind the mirror? See, I can't tell. Like, I don't blame the girls. It's the production design and the director. Like, I, the director, it's not clearly communicated. Sorry, my battery is about to die. So, and let's get back in this. Kachi action. Okay, so here are my thoughts on this. Like, I'm not really talking about the song or the music at all, and honestly, I think that as someone who had a band and you know, performed around and stuff. I'm a big proponent and encourager and supporter of you going out and making your music and doing everything that you can for it. I super huge into that. And so congratulations to these girls. I don't ever, and just like my last video, I don't blame the girls and Kachi at all. I, it's, I feel like it's their production team and their director. And I feel like 
part of being a producer or a producer slash director is you really find out like how much money do we have? $20,000, where are our locations? What can we do? What is the vision on this? What is the story I'm trying to tell? So at this, they actually, the director did something good, which is trying to bookend things. So they start at this chest and at the end they open the chest. But why? What's the point? And that is part of the problem is I'm just like, what is happening narratively? Now, every music video doesn't have a narrative. If you have a narrative, then you should be judged by whether you tell the narrative or not. If you don't have a narrative, then you judge by just your shots. And in this situation, like I said, the production design is just, uh, that one set is terrible. The lighting is just weird um, in some parts. And the narrative story could have been told a lot better because I don't really get what is trying to happen. So they need a mirror, but why do they need a mirror? Just look at themselves, and then what is the big deal? They go behind this mirror, and then what happens? Do they have those beads on their face then? But what does that mean? I, I don't get it, I guess. I just don't understand. Um, and that is the director's fault. And it's also the director's fault if the production design is poor. I mean, it's production design's fault, but when the director's looking through the lens, he needs to tell the production designers, like, this doesn't look good. Or the director could have pulled those girls, like, 10, 15 feet forward so they weren't right against that wall or those drapes being shot. I mean, I just... Uh, I don't fault budgets, because you can do things on low budgets. I, I fault poor vision. And I think that... Um, there is potential with, like, I would have liked to have seen with someone with this budget what someone else could have done with it. I guess that's the bottom line. Is I wish they would have given it to a different director or a different production team. Someone who's more experienced, maybe more creative, maybe more used to working with low budgets, maybe with a better eye for composition and a better narrative storytelling style and seeing what they could have done with it because... Um, Kachi didn't do themselves any favors with his production team, unfortunately, um, which is too bad because, you know, there's a way that you can stretch your dollars and don't have to have a big budget, but still make it look good. Um, so I think that this is better than the last one, but I think that they just need a new production team, honestly, someone who's going to do a better job for them with the money that they have. It's not your fault, girls. I don't blame you. Um... Hopefully your management can get you a different team next time. So anyways, for Kachi's photo magic, it was a good attempt. There were some, there was a couple of good shots, like I said, like at the bar and everything, but they're just very normal good shots. Like, yeah, you have someone sitting and you do a shallow focus. It's just very typical, you know, I mean, it's not creative or necessarily really that great i mean so you got a standard shot good but there are basically no close-ups you know and the variety of shots to create texture were done only in movement rather than varieties and shallow um and mid wide and close-ups <sighs> yeah anyways sorry guys i didn't mean to be critical of this director because hey you got a job doing it wonderful i just feel like I, I always see like missed opportunities and I'm trying to figure out ways to make things better. And sometimes, sometimes I get frustrated when I look at things. I'm like, why didn't, why did you do that? That was a bad choice. But anyways, for Kachi's photo magic, again, girls, good on you for going after this. I don't think the song's bad. You know, good job. Keep going. I'd actually like to see what your next one looks like because this one's improving. So maybe the next one will be better. But please, please get a different production team, get a different director. So for Photo Magic Kachis, Photo Magic, it's a wrap.